What's up guys, today I'm going to go through how to create this halation effect which has become super popular recently and you may have seen it in a lot of film photography, mainly this red glow effect but also a diffuse glow effect. So here's my raw video clip and the first thing I'm going to do is copy and paste this. So I'm going to hold down option on my keyboard and just drag the video clip up and then on this top video clip what I'm going to do is Firstly, go to the blend mode and set that to lighten. And then I'm gonna go down to my effects tab over here and I'm gonna go to blur and I'm gonna add the Gaussian blur effect to this. And I'm gonna set the Gaussian blur effect to around about 15 just for now. And then I'm gonna go to my color board and I'm gonna go to the color section and I'm just gonna drag the global color up to the, up to the top left hand corner to the red and then I'm going to go to my exposure and I'm going to drag the global exposure down until until we're just left with this red glow effect around some of the edges of the video and you can always adjust this to get the look you're going for so now if I go back to my video parameters I can play with the glow effect to adjust the intensity of the effect and then I can also go down and use the opacity to also change the intensity of the effect if you want to skip all this editing, then I actually created a drag and drop preset, which you can just add on to your video clip or your adjustment layer, and it will give you this effect. So I'll leave that linked in the description if you want to check it out. So now I'm going to add a few more effects and continue this to try and create like a film camera look. So I'm going to add more of a diffuse glow effect. So to do that, I'm going to copy and paste my halation layer and I'm going to go to the color board and just delete the color board on this. And I'm going to increase the blur amount slightly and drop down the opacity to around about 10 to 15%. And then I'm going to go to my color board and I'm just going to decrease the shadows and increase the exposure on the highlights. And if I turn this on and off, you can see the diffused look that it gives the image. So now I'm going to select my adjustment layer and add a few more effects to this to give it that film look. So I'm going to go over to my effects tab. I'm going to go to looks and I'm going to drag on the teal and orange effect. And I'm just going to turn down the amount on this. And then I'm going to go back to my effects tab and I'm going to go to stylize and I'm going to use the aged film effect, drag that onto my adjustment layer and I'm going to come and turn the amount down, turn the color adjust down slightly and turn the scratches all the way down and maybe add some dust. So now we have this very film like look with the grain and the dust and the teal and orange look. So here's my second video clip. And if I want to continue the effect, I'm just going to copy and paste these and then I can copy the effects from my video clip over to these. So on this one, I'm going to press Command C and then select my next video clip and hold down Shift Command V. And that will let me paste the effects over to this video clip. But I don't want to use the retiming. And then the same on this one. So if I turn the effects on and off, you can see the halation effect and the diffusion effect. It just gives it a super nice look. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this effect. If you want to skip all the editing, then I created a drag and drop preset, which includes all of these effects and you can just add it onto your video clip to get this look. Please subscribe if you like this video and I'll see you in the next one.